what's going on guys Balkan Architect here and in this week's advanced Balkan Architect uh, Revit course I'm going to be covering the topic of advanced massing workflow in Revit so this is kind of an announcement for this week's course it's a one hour course well it's probably more like one hour and ten minutes or something like that but anyways so the course is going to be covering the topic of advanced massing workflow just because uh, I've showed you my master thesis project and in the last couple of weeks I've been getting a lot of questions on how I modeled all of this in Revit and I actually have a tutorial on how I did the sphere or the, the big ball uh, with the uh, with the surrounding uh, like uh, circular ramp or spiral ramp so I will be leaving a link to that in the description but for the rest of the project like this whole underground section it's very difficult to model something like this because it's angled in a couple of directions and also as you can see over here we've got a bunch of ramps and uh, things like that so it's a very complex shape and uh, I just wanted to create kind of a video where I show you everything about massing and the whole workflow how to get from basically nothing to some complex building like this where uh, basically you can't do anything without using ma in place massing okay and all of this is available on my patreon first a link in the description so that's where you can find the course I've got like 24 courses out so far they're all one hour long or more and I cover uh, numerous advanced topics in Revit. So if you want to check that out, first link in the description. Okay, so uh, basically to explain what this course consists of, first I show you how to do the, basically how to import the surrounding and how to do the uh, the site. So <clears throat> just because, uh, just simply the topo surface, but then I show you how to use the building pads in a way that uh, basically goes along with this project and that's with this sloped uh, building pad and after that uh, we I show you how to do some of the basic construction elements or basically some an annotation elements that are going to help you out with this project so if I go here into one of the levels as you can see we've got this uh, boundary line for the property or property line we have a bunch of grid lines that are marking certain parts of this model and uh, we've got of course all of the views that are going to be necessary I just like to do all of the necessary elements that are then going to help me out when I go into in place massing that these elements really help me a lot w to basically achieve this shape so I show you that first and then we go into in place massing and I show you how to create this mass so this is a series of uh, basically extrusions and voids and blends and things like that and I show you numerous things how to do as you can see it's a double slope it's a slope up here and it's a slope down there and it's perfectly fitting into the terrain so that was the important part and it was very difficult to model something like this so I show you all of the tips and tricks and uh, we come across a lot of little issues and then I s show you how to solve those issues for example this wall had a bit of an issue it didn't want to recognize that as a wall but I fixed that in this course and then in the end if I turn off uh, temporary height isolate here in this view as you can see uh, I show you how to add all of the walls all of the floors and everything looks nice and even this sloped railing as you can see it follows kind of the slope of the whole thing it's not straight it's angled so we show you how to model this as a separate family but I think it looks really cool in the end and also here on this side I, I show you how to kind of basically embed the staircase into the uh, into the mass so it it basically it fits perfectly it's all flush so I, sh I cover all of these topics in uh, this week's course so I, I suggest you check it out first link in the description to my patreon if you go for the advanced courses tier you will get access to all of my courses and all of my Revit project files over 300 files so far so yeah that's pretty much it and I'll be back with another regular Balkan architect uh, video in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day